Yeah, folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome, welcome, welcome to our Monday live stream. And yes, we have to have a decision or discussion about maybe doing some binge gameplay of uh, of Baldur's Gate here. We, I really want to finish it, and two hours a week is definitely not enough. Um, I'm just wondering about doing like a week where it's just we're just binging this. Maybe like, like maybe some bonus streams extended streams just really power through because first of all it's hard to keep track of the story kind of um when we're only playing at short amounts of time and yeah it is going to take us forever to finish this bad boy so i'm not sure that's going to be we're not going to change the structure of the the stream today first of all we didn't give any advance notice and secondly um the timing's not going to be right here but uh and wednesday i do still want to play gal Civ. what did we what did we start on saturday we saturday we finished rimworld and then we played against the storm. And had we talked about something for Saturday after that? Because part of me is thinking, like, maybe we just add Thursday, Friday, just for a little bit or something like that. But then probably is streaming Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday will murder me, will absolutely murder me to death. So that's not really going to work out. But maybe maybe Thursday makes sense because then it's Wednesday, Thursday, take Friday off, stream Saturday, take Sunday off, stream Monday, Tuesday off. So if I add if I add another stream on on Thursday, there will be two stream days in a row. But otherwise, there'll still be one day in between each stream because, you know, I have to play YouTube stuff and, you know, there's real life stuff and I'm working on some programming stuff, so we can't do everything. But that's that's a start. But I've wondered about um, something like that. Why sleep? Yeah, exactly. Hmm. And I, I know that I know that Essentia starts in there like cringing, but at some point, you know, we've got to we've got to get this going on. Um, that's what I'm wondering about. I'm wondering about Thursday and I think Monday and Thursday. So if Baldur's Gate becomes Monday and Thursday until we're finished, I think those might be both four hour streams as well. I really want to try to power through. I don't I don't like how long it's taken us to finish, um, especially since I want to do more things, my own personal runs. And I don't want to keep like I, I'm always <clears throat> this, is this problem where like I can't go beyond a certain point because I'm going to sponsor my there's, spoiler myself for the live stream series. And I don't want to do that. So we'll see. We've got some uh, we've got some gift subs coming in. Well, thank you very much. We got Bunky just now with five gift subs. Uh, Lazy Pariah as well. And I could have sworn there were more, but Streamlabs is not telling me over here which always confuses me with Streamlabs about why it's so bad about properly showing that. No idea. No idea why it's so poor about showing those gift subs. Maybe it was, maybe it was just those two groups, but I'm apologizing in advance if there was someone else. Uh, Lazy Pariah and uh, Bunky, thank you very much for the gift subs. Thank you for helping to grow the channel. Much appreciated. What about Quilder's Gate? Quilder's Gate's going well. Yeah, there'll be a Software Inc. video going live today. I think I'm up to... Um, I just did some more recording. I'm up to episode 16 of my Software Inc. recordings. Loving the game so much. Uh, really, really hyped about continuing that. And also really hyped about restarting on Impossible, uh, another campaign, because I think that's going to be great. Anyway, we are here in Ramazes Tower. We booped What's-His-Face, the butt-face, who wanted... Um, uh, Dame Aelin, or whatever her name is, for himself. See, that's the other problem with not playing often enough, losing track of the names. And we haven't explored this tower yet, but one of the things was we were going around, we were getting some failed arcana checks, I'm like, you know, we should probably have Gale with us. Plus, we'd promised to bring him here in the first place. So we've got Gale set up over here, uh, at least for now. We'll probably, after he's, uh, after we're done with the tower, we'll probably bring, I guess, Karlak back in. So we'll do that. But, um, you know, we've got the tower. We've come down one floor. We, we climbed down the floating furniture. And the thing is, we've got these little buttons over here. We've got these weave buttons we can push. It is flagged as red, but there's no one around here. So hopefully it's okay. We've got a plaque in front. This is below over here. We've got another plaque. Um, I was pretty sure there was another one. I thought I'd seen more than one plaque. No, was it just the one? Okay, but I think we spotted that with an Arcana check. Now, I've just done a little run around here with Gale, right away. and I'm assuming we've probably run him around and maybe failed the Arcana checks or something, because I'm assuming there's a plaque in front of each one of these buttons. Now, I have heard a hint that see invisible 
might oh no that's the same plot we did the full run see invisible might help us um spot that gale does have a spell for that we also have scrolls i guess i may as well just use the spell so i'm gonna cast see invis on him which does last all day it's not a ritual spell there we go now we can see these plaques clean up vaults i think the vault is where i've already been down below There are more vaults. Oh, is there just two buttons? Oh no, there's one. Right, clean up. Okay. And then below. Have a lot on my mind. Oh, that's right. Quill has um C and Viz from his um Hey, how come we didn't spot all? Did we never run around with sorry with the lures? Did we never do the full run around with the lures? Was I worried about accidentally triggering traps? Because yeah, he should have C and Viz all the time from the uh, the replacement eye. I don't know. So we can, I think, kind of jump down some more. And there's still some lootables. I don't know if I've clicked all these that we may do. And we've got the flight. We could go down there. But I'm going to click one of these buttons and see what happens. So this one that's labeled below. Okay, that's pretty boring. Um, another failed arcana check. Revealed. Oh, we revealed a lever. And another lever. Okay, do they just... Control step the force step. fields. Kind of failed. Okay, before I run around some more, hold on. Let's get a little guidance here. In case there's any more skill checks. Although, <coughs> maybe that was it. That says above. Okay, so that's how we get back upstairs. We have a display case, a chest. Um, let me hit a staring with the guidance and run around mostly for a second go at perception checks. Oh my God, the water murmured in with the infinitely big. What did you spot? Hmm, what's that? But we didn't get a giant glow of doom. There's still a failed arcana check going over here. I don't know if anyone else has really got much in the way of hope of um, getting that. I wonder what the next move is. Onward. Ever onward. Oh, she may have already done it. What, what about uh, Dolores here? Well, someone did it automatically when we came down. Oh, that's where they're at the Arcana. No Over here. Waste. No time to waste. No. Okay. Well, every single person failed an Arcana check. I'm sure that's fine. This key is glowy. Maybe that's what we perception check. Maybe we perception that there was something in there. I'm wondering if it's trapped. Okay, I'm gonna start with this. Let's have a let's have a Starian, our rogue, attempt to open this display case. I'm sorry, Circle of Death, Arcane Viciousness. Okay. All right, let, maybe we'll hit the levers first. Seek and you shall find me. Oh, we need to do an Arcana check to use the lever. Okay, let's fox cunning and guidance. And this is going well. There you go. Critical success. Okay. Easy enough. There we are. Okay. Now, I think this also had an arcana check over here, did it not? When I tried to open this? Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Is it just gonna? Okay, but maybe it's been disarmed with these um, these switches. Oh, Sorcerer Sundry's mystery door key, a glass goblet, scroll of flesh to stone. Can't give up now. Robe of the Weave. I bet that'll fit in my pack. What is Robe of the Weave? And I'm assuming Gale. Well, Gale would probably like to wear it, except. That, of course, Gale, being human, can wear armor. Although he's not wearing armor. He's actually not even wearing a magic robe right now. Because we didn't have real gear for him. Robe of the Weave. Very rare clothing. Arcane enchantment. Plus one to spell save DCs and spell attack rolls. <coughs> Weave Eater. Whenever the wearer succeeds a saving throw against a spell, they regain hit points. Okay. And plus two AC. All right. Well, that's going to be great for Gale. It looks... Like an old potato sack. Onward. Now... 
I don't know what this weapon does because I've been refusing to look at spoilers whenever possible, but so many build guides that I have read said, and then in Act 3, get Marco Heshkir and, it, and that'll be your best in slot for many different build guides. Oh my. So now it's finally time for me to find out what the hell this thing does. Legendary. Arcane enchantment, gain plus one to spell save DCs and attack rolls. Always excellent. There's a few items that do that. I mean, Melf's first staff over here does that. Arcane Battery. Alleviate the arcane burden of spell casting with the power of the staff. The next spell you cast doesn't cost a spell slot. So presumably, if I were to equip this on Gale, I assumed Arcane Battery... Oh, it showed up over here. Oh, toggle a passive feature. Okay, so it's not an action you precast, right? You toggle it on and it goes on. So, on, off. But it doesn't have a spell slot limit, so we can use this for our most powerful spell slot. All right, I can see the value. Weapon enchantment, plus two. Mm -hmm. Now, if um, if we had dual wield as the feat, I believe we could wield both uh, Marco Heshkir and Mel's first staff. But we don't, so we can't. But that's something to consider. You can dual wield staffs. Not very competently, necessarily, as a wizard, but you can do that. Although, as a human wizard, really, um, what what Gale should be doing is wielding a shield for an AC boost. But we don't have a shield kicking around. So, we'll just throw that on for now. Okay, I mean, that's pretty cool. That, I mean, th there's no pretty. That is very cool. Oh, right, I opened this case, but I never actually looted this heavy iron key. Let's be quick. And I looted that chest. Okay. Not as bad as it I guess. Oh, I don't think I looted this display case. Gaffer taped the two staffs together. Oh, right. And then I didn't actually look at the Kereshka's uh, favor. Imbue yourself an elemental energy source from the draconic goddess Kereshka. Okay, but what does it do? For science. It looks like the fire shield icon. Oh yeah, uh, resistance to acid, acid deals, including proficiency damage. This, these are all the same. Okay, so resistance to an element and increases the damage that our spells do slightly. Maybe kind of meaningful for um, cantrips. Also probably good for scorching ray because I'm assuming it probably adds the damage to every ray. And that would all of a sudden be pretty good if we did the fire version. Is that blood? No, never mind. Quite ready for you. Um, did it have duration? Oh, until long rest. While attuned, you can cast fireball on wall of fire. Oh, wow, that that is not in the first tooltip at all. You expand it and it gives you access to more spells, which means if we wanted Fireball and Wall of Fire, we wouldn't have to memorize it. That is kind of cool. Cloud Kill, Ray of Sickness, Chain Lightning, Lightning Bolt. Okay, Chain Lightning's pretty sick. <clears throat> hmm. I guess with Chain Lightning, probably every person you hit with it would get the, I mean, it's only, I don't know what our proficiency bonus is at level 12. Um, in 5e, would we be at plus 4? So, I mean, that extra damage isn't the, the most critical things, but it's certainly nice. No time to rest. Alright, let's go upstairs. So, should I hit these other buttons for science? Moving in. Should I hit cleanup? We got a, we got a quick save if something goes terribly wrong. Head carefully. There's a trap. Oh, it cloud killed out of these little vents. Okay. Wonder how long that lasts. I wonder if I hit it again if it turns it off. Oh my god, this water myrmidon's hitbox is still the single most frustrating thing in all of existence. I don't think it turned it off. Hopefully it still times out if we want to explore some more. All right, well, I'm not too worried about like being spotted here. Well, where are you going? Oh, there. Wait. What the hell? I clearly clicked over here. I thought. Crawler mucus? 
Target must succeed in constitution throw, saving throw become paralyzed. Ooh, that's quite good. Cloud giant strength. I think that cloud kill's still going on. I mean, I could gust of wind it. Can I burn it away? I'll go this way. No, just for convenience, I'm going to load the quick save. Just because it'll be a lot faster than any resources to clear it out. So after this, I don't know. I mean, we still have the problem where Lazel is kidnapped, and that's basically what we're doing. But Sorcerer Sundries is on the way to wherever we were walking next. So I decided to just stop in here. I brim Pat. Okay. What path lies before me? More failed Arcana checks. Boy, we're good at this. Ow. Oh. Oh. And that was the mage hand watering the plants outside. Okay, let's pop into the inner ring here. Check that wizard's task list. Tasks for which I require aid. Sweeping out the main hall, removing Ramazit's personal effects from my chambers, placing such valuable tomes as the Annals of Karsus and the Karsus Vault for keeping at all. If Mikler cannot handle such simple matters, I ought to replace him with an automated armor or two. Okay. No, I haven't gotten to Act 3 in my other playthroughs. Okay. You know what? I think we're good here. Um, although I could say could go outside. Oh, here's more buttons. Artillery. Really? Can't reach it? I can't even reach it for a drag? Ugh, that's annoying. What's this be warned? Dear staff, following from our meeting, be warned. Officially never to touch Lorican's magic buttons within the tower. He alone knows which is where and why, and any mistake could prove quite deadly. May vomp to rest in peace. Yeah, the funny thing is, like, the, the, the big run I'm doing now, the one I used for my Act 1 guide, is my uh, Dark Urge honor mode run. So I'm like, I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen with all the characters. I'm going to probably try to save the gnomes this time, just to be different. Like, I don't know if that says Dark Urgey, but... I'm going to do it anyway. I mean, just because I'm dark urge doesn't mean I don't want friends. Kassim, thank you very much for the gift subs. Thank you. Elixir C and Viz. I think we may have read this already. Magic Osha would have a field day with the tower. It would. But I think, like, Fantasy World Osha is too busy dealing with, like, Star Wars with, like, all the, like, random bridges with no railing. All right. I think we'll call this tower done here. I mean, I know there's some more buttons, but I do want to deal with some other stuff. So let's just pop back out to, I don't know, Baldur's Gate. Here's hoping those clanking watchers go the same way as Gorge. I don't know how closely they watch it. No way to run a business. There's a lot of dialogue happening simultaneously. Um, straight north. I still can't go through there, right? Yeah, that's all blocked off. Okay. Um, I may have taken the wrong portal for where I want to go. Yeah, let me portal to the Basilisk Gate. Oh, we can go northwest from where I was. Oh, well, shoot. Okay. And this is to the sewer. I don't want to go, but here, meet with Mistra in the Stormshore Tabernac Tabernacle, which is presumably here. We're gonna meet Mistra? Oh, I remember that was a thing. Oh, dang. Starion doesn't want to come to the temple. Oh, I tried them all. None of them answered. West of the bridge is a nice place. You're saying over here. Okay. Mistra's like this. Well, we're gonna bring Gale for this. It's been some time since I stood before her in a place like this. But then, yeah, we might swap him out for Carlac. He did just get some new swag. Statue of Helm, Statue of Saloon. Oh. Here, Helm, Statue of the Gods, Statue of Mistra. I feel like I should switch over to Gale for it. Which way to the nearest Although, library? <laughs> it might still have something interesting if I just did it with uh, Dolores here. Let's give this a try. Hello. There she stands, just as Elminster promised. Mistra, goddess of the weave, mother of all magic. The old man wasn't lying. She's opened the summoning channel. Oh, club soda. Can't you feel it? Gail's right. The very air around the statue. Don't I look pretty? With magic, 
as though the weave itself were coursing beneath her stony skin. A stream of pure, undiluted weave. I only have to reach out, and it will carry me to Mistra, wherever she may be. Well, go on then. It's rude to keep a god. Is Gail place. about to get boned one way or another? Time was I'd have given my right arm for a chance to speak with Mistra again. <laughs> the left one, too. Maybe a knee. Don't know so much for the fingernails. She asked you to blow yourself up. Wait, what would Dell say? I think he'd be like this. Again, Dell is kind of I mean, kind of gullible, kind of go with the flow. I mean, he certainly has his own like religious ideology as well, too. So he probably holds the gods in relatively high regard. I think he might just say one. I think I might have to save two for a different playthrough. Am I? You're right. I am a strong, capable Excuse wizard. Me. And this is no more than a casual reunion with an ex-lover. Yeah, and those always go fine. My omnipotent omniscient ex-lover i always wonder what being nervous would feel like i don't think the gods of faruna are omniscient they're certainly not omnipotent either they have tons of limitations uh what are you gonna say to her of all the things to be nervous about an audience of goddess? honestly yeah of all the things to be nervous about an audience with a goddess seems like a reasonable thing to be nervous about you're kind to say so but this is hardly my first time in mistress presence it's more the matter of what I'm going to say to her. During my time locked away in Waterdeep, <laughs> I prepared a quite comprehensive speech for her on the subject of our former relationship and the manner in which it ended. Alas, recent events have rendered the majority of it moot, so I'm going to have to improvise. Unless you have any words of wisdom to impart before I go. Do I? You're not taking me with you? Seek her forgiveness might be your only hope of curing the orb. Make her squirm, tell her the crown will be ours soon enough. Don't give anything away, just find out what she has to say. You shouldn't go to her again. Hmm. I mean, I'd give her a brain worm. I'd love to meet Mistra. I feel like Dell would go with one or two, but I can't decide which. Community poll? I don't think Dell's gonna say three, but that might be my dark urge option. My dark right run Gale is actually still alive. He's lucky for that. But as it turns out, it's kind of a good thing he is because I'm currently down to just myself and three companions. <laughs> that run. <laughs> it's just Asterian, Shadowheart, and Gale, my only three living companions. Of course, we could have gotten hirelings if there had been a problem. But <laughs> it would. in hindsight, it's like, maybe I should have had Gale kick the bucket. <clears throat> uh, so lots of votes for one. So we're going to go with that. You're not taking me with you? The summoning channel Mistra has provided is for me alone. What happened to Lazel? No one else is. Shadowheart and Lazel had some words. No matter how and a user of I just watched. My Dark Urge run. I was excited for the violence. Plus, I'm playing a um a Gith Yankee. So we're still gonna get like the Gith Yankee side and some of the lore in my Dirge run. Just uh minus Lazel. Ah, uh, no one else is permitted to enter. Alright. Seek her forgiveness. Yeah, so then I'll say that. Seek her forgiveness. It might be your only hope of curing the orb, which, you know. With Dell, he's still hoping to keep everyone alive, right? He may have had to accept that things might not work out with Carlac. But maybe Gale can still live. Mistress forgiveness? If you want me to claim the crown of Carsa, she'll hardly be in a forgiving mood after that. Yeah, but I think, I think on this run we're looking to destroy the crown. Going into this. Approach it like a particularly high-risk round of three dragon ante. I'll let Mistress show her flight, and then I can see how strong a chance we stand of winning the gambit. I'll only be gone for a matter of moments. The Outer Plains experience time quite differently to our own. She's gonna come back looking completely different. Please. All right. It's all good. Oh, we're gonna get to see it still? Okay. Gale of Waterdeep. You look well. As do you. But I assume we're not here solely to exchange compliments. It would be interesting to do so with Gale as our main character. You discovered what lies at the heart of the Absolute, the Crown of Causes. And you disobeyed my instruction. Why? Well, technically, he wasn't no there. To ask that of me. You cast me out. Remember, 
You were my lover, my chosen. Yet still you know so little of me. The past cannot be undone with self-pity, nor can a future be forged. Is it just me, or does her face look simultaneously quite young and older? The fragment of magic you tried to return to me was not of my creation. It was the Carsite Weave. It is a corrupted, half-born magic wrought in the brief moment Carsus ascended to godhood. It hungers for power, just as he did, and it can never like her finger be rings. sated. You unleashed something that would consume all magic in existence, and yet you thought only of preserving yourself. So that's what you're scared of. With the crown of Carsus reforged, I could take control of the Carsite Weave. You can no more control the Carsite Weave than a weather vane could control a storm. That it entered your body and consumed no more than your powers was a miracle. But we will not be granted another. The only reason the orb sleeps is because I have allowed it to feed on the true weave. A temporary measure, but one that will not be enough to save us. With each day that passes, the Elder Brain threatens to become a new kind of god. Its worshippers, a scourge of soulless illithids. If you will not use the orb to end this abomination, then you must find a way to separate crown and host. I mean, that's the plan. When you've done this, you must surrender the crown of Carsus to me. A great ask indeed. You've given me much to think on, as you always did. So be it. Follow the needle of your own wisdom. We shall see. I feel like there's a little disconnect in the way those these two lines flowed. Like maybe there was there was going to be some extra dialogue in there that got cut down, but some of the flow feels a little bit abrupt. We, the, you've given me more more to think about, and then so be it. Here are this humble Let's get going. Shield our people. <sighs> Back on mortal soil once more. Back yeah, if place. Gale wants to control the crown, I think there's going to be some friction there. How do you feel that you've done it? Not surprised power feel overwhelming even from here. Ooh, yeah. That, yes, I'm sure it was very memorable, but to tell us anything useful. Uh, I would say her power felt overwhelming even from here. And what you felt was but the slightest drop drawn from the rushing torrent that is the weave. I confess, without my former prowess, even I struggle to stand her presence. The effects on the mortal body of such unfettered magical exposure cannot be overestimated. She held back in order to protect us, to make sure I heard her. The Carsite weave within me this whole time. Yeah, okay. Time. Gale's gonna be a problem. I knew the orb was no ordinary ball of magic before it to be Carsus's malignant creation. Gods! How did I not see that? I fault you weren't to know. It's all too easy to miss things when we're blinded by desire. Because you acted like the idiot. Paid the price for it, too. I like two. It's all too easy to miss things when we're blinded by desire. Mm, true enough. There's a reason such unwitting heroes have been the backbone of lyric and legend for as long as both have existed. Even so, I was hardly some naive apprentice at the time. I considered myself an archmage, and yet was fool enough to be mistaken for a common conjurer. At least now I'm armed with the truth. And Mistress Expectation. Del calling the kettle black match. Sounds He's like speaking from experience, right? Blinded by lust. All I have to do is walk through it. Carrying the crown of Carsus. Oh, what you want? Then we need to take this chance. You deserve to be cured. We need to put it that way. It sounds rather easy. Sod redemption with the Carsite weave and the crown. You could be a god. That different playthrough, I think. Um you don't like this. When you put it like that, it sounds rather easy. Wow, what's a ginormous elder brain once you've grappled with your own crippling anxiety? Oof. Dude. It will be quite something. 
to wake up in the morning without regret and live each day knowing another will follow. Like as not. To be rid of the orb. Perhaps claim back what it took. Yeah, I'm not entirely confident that he'll just be able to get rid of the orb and be cured. But, you know, we'll see. And I cure you, I promise. I thought you were more ambitious than the Gale, but I settled for mortality. Del! Del! Stop it! Del! Dude! <laughs> it's your decision to make, not mine. No, Del believes he's going to be cured. If anything else, he's like... I think he might sort of almost treat Gale's condition as like a proxy for Karlak. He still has that like in mind. He's not really talking about Gale. He's still thinking like, oh, I wish I could cure Karlak. So this is going to be a proxy. So we're going to go with this. Thank you. There aren't many I'd trust to stand beside me on such a journey. If you were still who would do so because they believed I deserve such a chance. If I could promise you one thing in return for your faith in me, it's this. I will use everything in my power to ensure we defeat this evil. Except blowing yourself up, apparently. Let you down. Although we still have that button. Now, I believe we have a date with an elder brain to get to. Shall we? Okay, so this was just lore. Nothing seems to have changed, although I'm sure it's advanced as a side quest. Vicar Humbletoes. Hello. This is a lovely chapel you got here. Terrible hair, though. Welcome to the Stormshore Tabernacle. You have come far, I perceive. How may I serve you this day? Who are you? I am Vicar Humbletoes, guardian of the Stormshore Tabernacle. I keep the peace in this sacred place and guide those in need. Uh, what can I do here? Oh, do you need a hand with anything? Here, oh, okay. Commune with their gods and even hear their responses if they are so favored. I am also granted the power to provide holy resurrection through sales of revivification scrolls. Are holy items available for purchase? Of course, my child. Within the limits. Behold my wares. Choiled. Uh, okay, we do have dyes, and say so we might need some dyes for Gale's outfit because it's looking absolutely terrible. Resistance, resistance, universal resistance. Maybe, you know, we got, how much cash we got? Okay, nine grand. I don't know if we've got any other big items. Mantle of the Holy Warrior, so it doesn't do anything in and of itself, but then gives us a spell we can cast. Oh, radiant damage. No, that's, why is this so expensive? The Sacred Star. Okay, so look, I think it actually adds a D4 radiant. One of the things I kind of wish you could do is choose on the tooltip whether the tooltip included your stats or not. Because if we had a buff going on that it would add, was adding a D4 radiant, it would show that regardless. But it must add that. So it's a morning star. Radiant strike on a hit, inflict one turn of radiant in the orb. Okay, so radiating or <laughs> no laughing with the hair and privilege people. I'm so sorry. <laughs> sorry, Mar. Uh, you're right. You're right. We should not mock the follically challenged. Because if you do, you're going to get absolutely cursed. Absolutely cursed. Um, right. So Radiant Orb builds are actually super sick and cool. And one of the things, because we I did this playthrough blind and things like that, um, I didn't really have, like, I don't really have anyone running like a super sick combo or anything like that. I mean, we didn't maintain the Titan String Bow, for example, right? We didn't, like, so many things I just didn't keep around that it turns out are kind of core builds you can do. We could stack a billion Radiant uh, Strike stuff on, um, well, I was gonna say on Shadowheart. Of course, our Shadowheart is a Paladin. We aren't actually running a Cleric, therefore uh, a Radiant build's not really a thing, but that is really cool. Under creature struck with this weapon or possibly turned. That's also very awesome. It's got the tenacity in there. Uh, this, that's another one I'd like, I'd like info because it's actually one bludgeoning damage like per strength modifier. But I don't think we're gonna buy that, but I suspect some people would probably do this. Uh, Nerf the Orb Well, they can get the 10, can't they? They can't stack infinitely, but they have more effect. Apparently, uh, stacking uh, too many Radiant Orb stacks could crash the game before, which is fun. When you have the Reviving Hands. <clears throat> when you heal a creature, it gains the effect of Blade Ward. When you revive a creature, it gains the effect of Death Ward. Um, that's actually really good. Again, I don't think we're really building that. We don't do a lot of in-combat healing, although we could. Um, Del could drop some of those, but... Dell's using the gauntlet. Of, well, that's no, I want the gauntlet of the tyrant because and first of all, when I'm shape shifted, the unarmed attacks would work, but mostly it's about the plus one bonus to save DC, which is actually really good. 
So I don't think I'm going to be buying any of those, but I think we will buy all their potions of supreme healing. And I'm going to buy the elixirs of universal resistance as well. You know what? Um, let's get the stack of superior healing as well. I think that's a good idea. I'm keeping the stuff I've got mostly because it's cool, so I want to. Um, I don't know if we need to keep these, but they are flagged for quest stuff, so we may as well. What a day. Those are my emotional support scrolls, my emotional support potions. Ready and willing. Selling it rolled was actually kind of good. I was going to sell, sell, send to the camp. You can't do it through this interface. Okay, I think I'm okay there. Yeah, Mass Healing Word is great healing. So Mass Healing Word, in and of itself, is not a spell I'm impressed by. But, because it's like, how often is it going to matter that every single one of your characters gets healed? By honestly, not that much, but it's there. But it's the fact that in Baldur's Gate 3, you can attach so many freaking writers to your heal spells that now all of a sudden your Mass Healing Word is blessing everyone, giving them all Blade Ward, or um, there's another item before that it gave them... Um, I think gave them resistance for a turn as well. Like, you can stack so many things. Now, all of a sudden, you're not casting Mass Healing Word for the healing itself. Yeah, Green Lily, exactly. It's for the triggered effects. It becomes ridiculous. But we're not really we're not really built around um, all that right now. Okay, so, yeah. Another step forward. Good stuff. I'm going to have to add that. If I do decide to continue my, um, my Honor Mode walkthrough videos, um, so if you haven't watched it, by the way, the, the, the first part for Act 1, I hope you do, because I, I'm quite I'm quite pleased with it, quite proud. And one of the things I do is I highlight when you enter an area that has, like, a vendor with some key items in that guide. I, I mention it both in the written one and in the uh, the audio one. M more in the written one as well. There's some extra details there. You know, like, oh, if you're, you know, here's a key item that you might want to make sure you don't miss to pick up. Okay, impress the murder tribunal or investigate the murders. That's really what we're looking for, because this is going to lead it to Orin, which is going to be leading us to rescuing... Um, Carlac, which is what we want to do, but we may as well just stop in and um, get rid of this, the, just this quest of we went and killed some rats. Hammer's being a little awkward here. And then we might want a long rest. Out of short rest, we've got a little bit of damage. Yes. I heard commotion in the cellar. Good. Mm. Perfect. Rescue yeah. Lazel. Sorry, if this. I said rescue Carlac, I meant rescue Lazel. Do Lazelle. not worry. Chef Revere's eyes will be kept most peeled for murderous knaves. Oh right, because he was going to be yes. murdered. What is Dell wielding as a weapon? Okay, so this is another one that adds spell DC. Because I was just thinking, if I'm going to be dropping Gale, um, I can grab some of this stuff um, for Dell. For example, the Marco Heshkir. Probably Dell should wear it. That would be interesting because it would give Dell access to Chain Lightning or Fireball, which he doesn't normally have access to. It was definitely useful. There's also a ton of TikTok videos showing hidden items I've never noticed, including how to beat the cheating the gin. Yeah, we didn't do that in our playthrough uh, because, again, you know, sort of blind and, and we weren't able to, like, succeed at things. But in my multiplayer game with my friends, we did do the, the beat the gin because it gives you an item that is so sick. Oh, Yenna's thinking that us is a cat. That's right. With ease. So... Yeah, why don't you go and re-equip Mel's first staff? Marco's gonna go to Dell. Oh, you can still do it? I'm not gonna, though, because we're... Yeah, and I know it now, but I'm trying to avoid... Unless it's like... It was like, oh my god, this is like 10 out of 10 content that you don't want to miss. I'm I'm trying not to, to do that too much. No one back and just for an item, as good as it is, I'm gonna go leave ahead. it be. Oh, I'm listening. Um... Yeah, I'm not feeding anyone else anything else. Um... Uh, you regret not using the orb when you had the chance. I regret many things in my life. Choosing to be here, intact and unexploded, is not one of them. Makes sense to me. For now, to have a few Gin more and days. tonic? Ooh, don't mind if I do. No. I wouldn't change a thing. Should I go and get some gin and tonic after the stream? I haven't had one forever. 
Need you remain in camp in a while rather than a road with me. I question the wisdom of that decision, but so be it. Oh, wait. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. I need to dye your clothes first because it is absolutely shambolic. So first of all, any dyes any of us have in our inventory. Let's go ahead and send them to Gale. I don't have that many dyes. I might have some extra in the camp I'm chest. I'm not sure. But. Uh, Drake General Dry, I think it's like red and gold, red and black, something like that. Jet and pink. Let's try the jet and pink. I don't know if it's Gale, but I do love it. I love this a lot. I don't think it's Gale. Again, an improvement over the base. I'm not sold on it. Not sold on it. I'm gonna go and check the um, the camp chest. I kind of wish you could preview the dice. This is our equivalent of preview, quick save and reload. Which you can't do in honor mode, so you gotta commit. Mm -hmm. Watching Quill get turned into a cheese wheel with very gun content. That was so much fun. All right, Gale, where's the where's the camp chest? It's in here, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Not show up on the mini map. Oh, shows up when you're a little closer. Okay. At least for the red and yellow, you won't lose them. I mean, that's true. I think it's better than the potato sack brown we've got going on. Can I not search? Okay. Uh, but as I say, the dyes should all be together. Apparently they're not actually together because for whatever reason, the broken moon lantern was in the middle of them. Oh, and there's another die over there. Squint mode engaged. I think that's all of them though. Okay. Made the save reload BS of dyes made me install a mod that made dyes infinite. I mean, honestly, li lime lichen, just plain blue. I do like blue. I think the bloody plum's kind of nice. Blue for Mistra. Okay, you know what? Actually, I think we have a winner. Good call. Who said that? Green Elite. Oh, you know, you don't want green? I think that's a winner right there. I don't think we have to experiment anymore. Yell for me was always midnight blue and black with silver highlights. A <laughs> very Ukrainian or um, Swedish, right? Still All right, listen, Gail, you're looking real good now, but we got to boot you up. I question the wisdom of that decision. Uh, perhaps so we'll travel again later. Carlac! Breathe deep. Baby! Wait, I mean... After Gortash, she wanted to come back to camp. I'm assuming we can still adventure with her. Wow. So that was Mistra. Pretty spectacular stuff. But I think Gail was right. Oh, Kesem, thank you. I actually had breakfast today, so I'm being, I'm better. I respect the gods, but they don't always understand what I got some uh, burgers ready to go for dinner tonight. But I appreciate you a lot. To know what it's like to be one of us piggies. Proud of Gale though. It takes some man to hold his own in front of the divine. That was Mr. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry you weren't with us, but I'm assuming all of our companions we keep like sort of sharing these memories with one another via the, the tadpoles. Yeah, I actually made the burgers last night, but I, I, I had enough. I have enough burger meat that we have. We have more burgers left for today, and I've got some extra fries ready to go as well. So, come on, we're heading out. Hell yes. Yeah, baby. She's still super on fire because of the um, infernal coin that we gave her. Soldier. And yeah, I guess she left with some stuff on her, including Gortash's hand. I don't remember anything that we've got going on. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to play this more consistently and power through. I'm gonna say right now, Thursday, there's gonna be an extra um Baldur's Gate stream. Um and I think there's a good chance we're gonna start at noon and we'll do a four hour um stream. And we might do Mondays and Thursdays for Baldur's Gate until we finish it. Alright, let's let's go and sleep. Oh, if I have any FUDs on me. Okay, good. I was sent to the camp first. No, no, no. Camp supplies. Yes, we do. No exclamation marks? Or do we? Oh, no. No exclamation marks. Wow. Okay. <gasps> Making deep dish pizza for dinner. Homemade mozzarella, venison, sausage, and pepperoni. Oh, my God, Parduk. Okay. Now, all of a sudden, I'm hungry. <laughs> Journal update. Gather your allies. What just changed? I guess this? It's weird that it only updated now after sleeping. Okay. 
We are going to head back to... Well, I'll tell you what. Just out of curiosity, I'm going to go west of that bridge for a sec. Is that a big area? Well, we'll check. Again, I still want to save Lazel, but... So clever. How'd he end up dead? Don't see the mouth asking that. Okay, first let me get my summons out. Uh... Conjure Elemental. Water Myrmidon. So I can complain about the hitbox some more. Conjure us. Okay. Long Strider. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Just need a macro for this. Um, speak with animals. Then we're going to Freedom of Movement. Not my summons. But all the rest of us. So we can't be paralyzed. Now I'm out of level 4 spell slots and I still... Oh, wait! Fudge! I don't think I have to do Shadow Heart because she's got the ring of free action. That's okay. What I can do is I can swap a ring with Karlak. Yeah, sure. Why don't you go and swap those two rings around? So Karlak's got free action now. And then you'll be lightning resistant, which doesn't matter too much, but there we have it. Okay. Next. Okay, I think that's all the pre-buffing from Dell, although we may want to do elixirs. I'm just saying. And then we are going to cast a max level aid, which isn't as crazy as it used to be, because she's a paladin now instead of full spellcaster, but that's alright. The we need a spell sequencer, yeah. Well, when, when I play Baldur's Gate 1 and 2, I use, um, can't remember what the mod is, uh, but it includes, like, but I can hit B, and all my characters will precast all their buff spells, which is really great. Because there's actually a lot more buffing that goes on. Um, right, Dell, you need to... Spell Crux Amulet, which should have showed up here. Here's my, that's my class version. Oh no, it's not my class version. So we're going to replenish a level six spell slot. Okay. And then don't I have another one as well? Yeah, this one here. My God. Restore level. Oh no, I don't need, a, I'm good in level threes. Okay. Then... I'll just put the Amulet Restoration back on, although I don't you tend to use it half the time. I think... I think that's all my pre buff Oh, yeah, again, except Elixirs. Did I equip the new staff? Good point. I did not. So I'm going to want to go and equip that. Which... Oh! Is it just gives me knowledge? Does this... Oh, right, I have to use the staff. So I'm going to use it for lightning, because chain lightning's cool. I just want it for cool points. I've literally never used chain lightning in this game yet. Here's hoping those clanking watchers go the same way. So now I have this here, and... Is it just going to eat my spell slots? Like, I can just... Ca I mean, I only have the one level 6 spell slot, so I can only chain lightning once. And then have lightning bolt available. All right. Oh, it's call lightning, not lightning bolt. No, it's lightning bolt. Yeah. Can't you feel it? Okay. Not over. Feel what exactly? Posters. It's like a tingle in the Veronica. It almost looks like it was done in my hand. I'm sorry. What? Did I do this? I'm sorry, what? That graffiti from before. Oh, call lightning efficient use of slots. Yeah, it is a um, um, concentration spell, and I usually concentrate on haste on Karlak instead. What? Why did it stand out? Well, I think I was the one who did it. I can recognize my own handwriting. She's so pretty. How long ago was this? Years? All the time I spent training. I know, we have to get you fixed, but we also have to rescue Lazel first. I think, I think I must have wanted to leave my mark somewhere. 
just to prove I existed, even to myself. Oh, you don't think they use a spell slot? You think they recharge on short rest? Okay. The rest of the options are all things we've seen before. Oh yeah, what's this? Where's the book? Oh, behind? The novel tells the story of Veronica, Ronnie Hemperclips, who has been humbled by her demeaning and mean-spirited husband into having more children than she wanted. Now it seems she is ceaselessly spending her days at the wash basin cleaning a never-ending supply of dirty things. She escapes this when she solves the unsolvable riddle of the almost disturbingly handsome fairy prince, Rigel. Whisked to a world of fairy court politics and duels, Ronnie has a marvelous time and doesn't miss her damn children or her awful husband one bit. This escape is fantasy, treacle pot boiling of the treacliest variety, and it is glorious. 10 out of 10. A plus plus plus. We got boots, clothes. Did someone go for a swim? Rotten stuff. Always room for more. Um, messenger rat. Something's on my mind. There's creeps in cloaks creeping around down in the sewers. I'm sorry. What? That's not really news, I suppose. There's always creeps in cloaks down there. That's not really news, I oh. suppose. Can you repeat? Okay. Okay, that was very cool. And I actually I'm not sure that we explored anything over here yet, but it, again, lays out. So we're gonna pop back over to the Basilisk Gate. Waypoint. Got an ad coming up. If anything huge and dramatic happens, we'll just pause the game. But otherwise, we'll let it uh, we'll let it play through here. So over this way, is it like the is it like a tombstone maker or something? Hello, Alambrosius. Oh, do you nice blue hair. One? Sorry, um, I can't sell you any right now, but you can look. Mum will be back soon. I mean, um, shopkeeper will be back soon. You got crazy eyes. I love them. Read other people's mail. Thank you for repairing my wife's vase. She's been sad ever since the upper city was sealed and she can't see her siblings. And this will go a long way to cheer up as a vase was a gift from them. I've added a gratuity to your fee to cover your rush and gratitude for taking care. Well, we'll take the gratuity. The fee for saving the world. Deal with it. Yeah, there it is. Candle Hollow's tombstones. Candle Hollow's tombstones. Remembering the deceased with sympathy and skill. Ooh. She loves it when people complain. First of all, that is a very cool looking dragonborn. When she gets to shut them up. You don't want none of this. So you're saying I want some of this? Trust me. It's not what it looks like. I promise. Okay. Self-help book explaining that true happiness begins with a tidy house and well-polished floorboards. Here we right go. there, Mary Condi or whatever. Candle Hallows Tombstones. Stop we have a key? You. All right. <clears throat> Well, yeah, hold on. We're going to get Don't spotted outside here. We may as well walk in. Okay, we got XP for just walking in the door. Interesting that the caskets have clothes, but no body. Listen, um, everyone get inside here. There you go. Close that door. Oh my god. Water Mirrodin? There it is. <laughs> Son of a bitch blocking the door. Breathe deep. I mean, he's so powerful, but he's just so big. Who's storing food in the casket? I mean, I guess they're here. You can just use them as some extra, like, storage space until you need them for something else. And maybe that's practical. Yeah, the, the elemental hitbox is just so big. 
Okay, well, I'm assuming there's going to be some sort of secret door that goes downstairs or something. Perception failed. Whoa, stop. Halt! Oh my god. See, this is what I was trying to avoid. Now, two people have already burned their perception checks. Whatever comes, I'm ready. I can be subtle sometimes. Darian? That's curious. Oh, that's not what I expected. I'm guessing there's something behind this. <gasps> A button. Okay, so that that's good because it means ah that slid over. It means that even if you fail the perception check, you could just like poke at random stuff and eventually have things happen. Seekers. If you seek the tribunal, let death be your guide, for what is behind death but murder? A question might seem silly. Can werewolves consume chocolate? Why wouldn't they be able to consume chocolate? Not usually garlic or silver in chocolate, right? Keeping up appearances. Clerk Dravage, remember, you're in the business of making Candle Hollow's tombstones look like genuine retail establishment. Keep all the prices about half again too high, so you don't sell very much inventory. Think of the shop as a stage set rather than actual going concern, the management. Oh, because it's toxic for dogs. Oh. Maybe they can only consume it in their human form. Still breathing, despite I've never much time for lords myself. But from what I have a key for this too? The locked door has red text on it reading, All are weighted, all are embraced, none shall escape. I was going to say, sounds like death. Speak the past phrase, Sicarius. Okay, so we do some checks, but we know password. And yeah, Karlak was spotted, I think, by someone patrolling outside. This is a danger zone! Okay, makes sense. Let's figure out our elixir plan here. Actually, first I'm gonna check um, my crafting potential. I don't know that we need peerless focus anymore because I think we're all wearing armors that give it a bonus. I mean, if we don't have anything else to use, we could use heroism, I suppose. Yeah, I think Karlak's still gonna go bloodlust. Asterion. Or uh, we could give Karlak um, Elixir of Cloud Giant Strength. She's the only who's kind of strength based. Oh, actually, Shadowheart can use strength for her melee attacks. It would make a bigger difference for her. Maybe we have Shadowheart drink the Cloud Giant Strength. I don't have any, I don't have any Tavern Brawlers. I don't have anything that like crazy combos with it. So Shadowheart, maybe for the two hit. Karlak can just drink a Bloodlust Potion, because honestly, she's going to kill a lot of things and get bonus actions a lot. Robe with Weave, surprisingly good on Karlak. Oh, there's that. Right now, we've got the Flame Enameled Armor, so she's actually wearing armor on her, and it's fine. But that's a that's an interesting point, uh, Canadian Meese. That's a very interesting point. Um, I think this gives me advantage constitution saving throws. Yeah, so I, th I was probably just drinking elixirs of like... We got the Cloud Giant Strength here, too. Um... Elixirs of like an extra spell slot or something on Dell, which I don't think any of those are a big deal. Okay, Karlak, let's just drink this. I mean, unless I want to save the Cloud Giant Strength for one big final fight, but I think it's going to be okay. Shadowheart, let's drink. Yeah, we can just drink one of these. That'll probably be good. Maybe I should stay crouched forever. Karlak has a Freddy Mercury vibe. Um, oh, let's have you eat another coin there, Karlak. We have a million of them. I only used my first one recently. Uh, where are the coins? Oh, Dell has them. I have one of those. Best think ahead, or I'm lost. Armor doesn't block rage in Carlock. No, you can you can rage with armor. I have to keep going. I mean, maybe it depends on what kind of uh, barbarian you are. It's not heavy armor. It's I think heavy armor might have things, but it's just medium. What to do? You wish it sounded like a slot machine. Press ahead. Better not be cursed. Flaming fists this way. Don't mind if I do. When I have a flaming barbarian can sneak. That which guards. 
Death Knight with 300 HP. That which lurks, that which watches. Martial Undead. An undying magnetism grants Death Knight a nearby advan an advantage against being turned. Fair enough. Soul Earth. Oath. This creature has sworn a soul oath to protect its dark master. Should that master die, this creature will also succumb to death. Has spell slots? I'm assuming it's gonna feel. Wow, that's a lot of bonus necrotic damage. I'm assuming this is gonna feel a lot like fighting up some paladins. Now, I suspect we can probably take that. At the same time, I'm a little curious as to what's going on over here. I'm assuming a million traps. I mean, for science. Time to kill. Stare in. Nice and easy. You'd be so kind. I'll give you um. I'll give you guidance first. Let me give you a hand. Taste. Step carefully. I mean, sure. Wait, really? Nothing. Oh dear. Oh, there's a trap. Someone's left a trap. Finally. God, I was gonna be disappointed. Like what a troll. The absence of trap feels more dangerous, right? I was actually expecting even more than one trigger, but okay, I feel so much better all of a sudden. Okay. Now then. I've got a long road ahead. They are not flagged as hostile. I'm assuming they're gonna be. Swift as my feet can carry me. But I'm wondering if Dell just walks up. Uh, I hate that we don't have a quick and easy symbol to confirm. I think these lighting things confirm that there's no, um, that they're stealthed. I'm just gonna have Delt put out some of these lights here. And he might just walk up and introduce himself. No, I'll give it a shot. Traps are fun. A dozen boulders falling on you. Oh, wow. Yeah, let's get this area nice and dim. And Quill's just, or er, Del's just gonna walk up there. Hello! Present me well from gifts thine own. Or I shall rend Ugh, thy It's a rhymer. Bone. I killed to be here and took the victim's hand as proof. We do have I don't I guess I can't access my inventory right now. Um we do have a hand in our inventory. If I switch characters for a sec. I mean, we've got the clown's hand, but I got another one. I got Gortash's hand. Out for myself, several power for my... No, listen. <laughs> I mean, Orn wanted me to kill Gortash for her, and I did. A grasping hand, an offering vile. Enter now. All right. All that prep, and it turns out we're fine. Okay. Breathe quiet. Just turns around. It's all good. Oh, yeah, you guys are getting spotted. That's fine. Nothing else over here? Okay. Never wanted the easy path. Murder tribunal. Is that is that a command? Find the tribunal and murder it. I'm gonna go straight for oh, I mean, maybe. I'm sorry, what? Saravak? I know I'm like saving obsessively, but okay, so I guess I'm just walking up. With haste. I really wish I had Jahir with me. Cause she would know. Like we've met before. Oh my god! All right. You gaze upon murder's progeny, child. That's why I said Shakira. Ill-trusted <laughs> zealots. I don't know who you are. His faithful departed. I don't know who you are. Prodigal servants. I don't know who you are. Each returns to do his bidding eternally. This man is known to all Baldurians, and his presence sparks dread in the pit of your stomach. Before you is Sarah Vox. I'm sorry you feel that way, old man. Who almost brought Baldur's Gate to ruin a century ago. This is the court of the Dread Lord's Tribunal. I am its custodian. Here come those who seek to transcend. Aspirants of his most profane order. The would be unholy assassins of Baal. 
Servak Ankev, how are you still alive? Are you the reason so many murders in the city? No, dude, we, we know already there's like something more, you know, bigger. Orin sent me here to be baptized by Ball. What must I do? I mean, that's the thing. I'm going to do a run where we participate gleefully in the murder spree and all that. And I, there, there's been a couple of things sort of spoiled to me about the Dark Urge run and what that that indicates. Um, so I'll be I'll be embracing certain things, but not here. What exactly is in a holy assassin? No business ball. I mean, we can ask some questions. I mean, first of all, how are you still alive? A long while ago. My wretched sibling bought me back. The fairest of ball spawn soul bound me to this husk. Worship death though I do. <coughs> I refused it. I roamed the Character country. respects someone we have killed multiple times in previous versions of the game, right? Still held ball in and somehow Saravok returned. The cult survived, festering beneath the city. With me as the gate's everlasting poison. But no more, for poison is too slow a death. Now is the time for slaughter. With these killings, the glory of the Balis has risen beyond what we dreamed possible during those dark days. But I like seeing the, the people Lord in the background just like crunch down, now. one of them on fire. My granddaughter, Arin. The oh. youngest unholy assassin ever to follow in Baal's bloody trail. <laughs> we have the technology and the Karlak. Chosen. Uh, wait, Orin's your granddaughter? My very blood. And by extension, his. Baal has never had a more gifted prodigy. Orin's gifts surpassed even her mother's. Her mother knew this, and she could not bear it. When Arryn was but seven years old, Jeez. she tried to smother the child as an offering to our Lord. I heard the screams. I ran to help. I feared for the child's life. But the cries were not Arryn's. It was her mother's blood that soaked the sheets. Arryn had cut off the very hand that tried to end her and made a plaything of it. And as she toyed with her dead mother's hand, a deep quiver rose up through her throat. The Lord of Murder speaking through the child. Lay not a no, the Baldur's Gate 2 uh, campaign is still due to be finished. Nor let any other. I mean, I've beat BG2 before, but a long time ago, and I don't remember it. And never the expansion. Unholy ardor. Protect her in my name. That's horrible. No child should have to go through that. That feels like what Dell would probably say. Did you know that your daughter was planning to kill Orin? Your granddaughter killed your daughter. Family sounds deeply disturbed. I mean, yeah. I can see why Balch was. Uh, Orin, yeah. Didn't come here to be embroiled in your family drama. I came here to be baptized by Ball. Uh, I'm going to say that's horrible. No child should have to go through that. You double the three. I mean, honestly, it, it's, it feels so redundant. Like, you can kind of see how it's going to go with this one. I kind of want to say this. You're right. My Lord. Family's typically disturbed. I abide Family's by whack. His words. And so it is that Arin now leads his temple and draws aspirants to his creed. But Arin is not the subject of our judgment here today. You wish to become an unholy. I mean, do I? Is that what I'm here for? Approach and be judged. I mean, does it come with perks? Right? What are the benefits? Healthcare? I mean, I kind of want to ask three, but I also want to say four. I mean, also five, but I think four is like kind of there. Like, what, what does this judgment involve exactly? There is no better mirror in which to see the true nature of a killer than his victim. You took their hands from them. Now, 
I will clutch one of their souls from the abyss, that they may show Baal who you are. Here's the thing. I think Dell is genuinely concerned of what this would say. Because again, he's done a lot of things, kind of ends justify the means kind of thing along the way. <clears throat> he's... He has, he thought he's, he's trying to justify it all, right? To save everything. And yes, in you know, overall, we're trying to save the world, but there's a, there's a part of him that is very concerned um, that, you know, things have gone you know wrong or too far, or, or if it's not worth it. And he's worried about the answer. So he's definitely not willing to go through with this. And yes, this was, you know, sort of the diplomatic Druid playthrough, but I think here, and I think here's, I'm not interested in being judged by, by Ball over here bro 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 what please don't kill me <laughs> bro. um but he's also he's not just like bar gonna kill you rah, 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 rah. i mean sometimes he is i think i'm gonna say this we're we're, we're expecting that it'll lead to a fight and that's gonna be fine i have no interest in being judged by ball and secretly i'm afraid of being judged by ball <laughs> this is where you reveal yourself voice sarah makes you think of the old 90s movie trailers in a world have been bound wanting i want a lot of things Unworthy. you will die here mageling paltry spells will not save you now is that about spells you're just implying that you're like immune to magic or legendary resistance incapacitation Plus 10, next save and throw against incapacitating condition. Okay. It's only temporarily hostile. <laughs> it's possible to make peace again. Exceptional plate. Two less damage. That's fine. Extra attack. First blood. On a hit, inflicts bleeding upon targets that have maximum hit points. We should have come in here with one less hit point somehow. Oh, maybe reacting to our level dip of sorcerer. Maybe that's it. Responding to our class. Could be. Yeah, I know I'm the only one in combat. That's okay. That's by design. I mean, unless the other's been knocked out and like locked out sorry indomitable become a durable iron golem when you fail a saving throw you can roll again using the new result yeah okay so we're we're not gonna try to cc saravok can't be surprised permanently armed can't be disarmed as well what about y'all all spawn essence sendai when sendai's ghost dies saravok will have his armor class increased by six when this one dies saravok's attacks will heal him when this dies, Saravok will be permanently hastened. Aha! So it sounds like what you need to do is burst down Saravok. Keep your blade close. Hunker down. Hunker down. Show me you're still stealth. Thank you. I'd love to go over here, but I'm not going to be able to make it. There might be some range issues. That's vision, though. Oh, wait, hold on. There's a high ground over there. They won't see me come. Nice skull. Yeah. Reminds me of the old days. Yeah, so kill Saravok just like every other time you meet. Exactly. We know how this works. Is that pillar in the way? I mean, we can hop down again. Oh, yeah, he's a little too far. Okay. Well, this is feeling a little annoying. Am I even going to get an egg? Yeah, yeah, I can get up over here and I'd definitely be able to get an angle on him. Part of me is wondering if this is worth it. That's curious. Okay, it's not a button, it's just a keyhole. That broke your stealth though, because I think you took damage. I think the taking damage broke the stealth. Oh yeah, I've lost some hit points. I'm not getting bled. Okay, this pillar is so perfectly positioned game uh it's possible i can go here without being spotted this might work i mean let's not think about the logic of what's going on here with like not being in combat now what kind of arrow do i want to open with it only lasts for one turn the no healing so i don't think that's worth dropping um uh, many targets you can hit the same person oh no that's right this is one that chains are you undead you're humanoid. Oh, 
But we can silence him for a turn. Acid for the negative AC. That's a good point. Uh, which one was the acid one? Right there. Wow, his AC is insane. Well, it's only 20, but I was expecting a better chance to hit with advantage here. Um, I can't get high ground. Okay, he can be paralyzed right now. It's only if this one here dies and he gets hastened that he becomes, he also gets free action. I think he can be paralyzed right now. Yep. Okay, he's got more actions. I'd love to, thanks. But let's go and get some more people into the party here. Um, I might go and do the same thing with Harlack and, and possibly Shadowheart actually. You know what, why don't you two group up? Move over here. Because if nothing else, taking three points of falling damage might be ideal. Here goes. Sneak mode. Thank you. Whisper mode. Nope. Okay. I thought she was gonna walk in to get his We might have been we might be able to just walk around that corner and not get spotted as it turns out. Does he not count as having vision? now since he's paralyzed i guess even if you could see me he couldn't like cry out shadow lack exactly well can he even can he be knocked prone i mean it doesn't matter he's already paralyzed i'll probably do these just to increase the total amount of damage regardless um i guess we could do this and set him on fire how come i can't you can't i can't hit t to inspect him anymore Range. Oh, I can't examine him either. What? Didn't we run into this issue last time? Had this bug, don't know what caused it. Yeah, I think we ran into it last time. Dang it, that's why I never use that ability. It's because now I've used up her bonus action so she can't rage. Oh. That's why. Also, her initiative is after Sarah Box, so she can't continue to attack, but that's going to be fine. There we go. Not Matt's HP. Ah, oh, I forgot to re-stealth. God damn it. Shall we dance? All right, listen, Asterion, if you would be so kind. You want to go up there and bite him? Actually, I think what I should do is hide. Yeah, you're right. It'll take you to max XP. You're right. That would be terrible. Come on, can't stay idle. So, Dell. We got the guiding bolt effect going on. Oh yeah, I can't inspect you still. Can I inspect the others? No. Okay. So it is completely with shot. I'm like, I could chain lightning, although he does have. So how does it work? Is it just I? Uh... Okay, it works just like the arrow of many things. So you hit him, and then it chains out to the others. Oh yeah, don't forget. Uh... Oh yeah, and our, uh... you know what? And our myrmidon. Yeah, you know what? That's fine. We'll just walk into combat with both of you. That's Nothing okay. Stand in my way. I don't want these to die, but they won't die. I mean, this doesn't crit. Rude! Uh, yeah, I don't need my reaction. Rude! I can't believe you did that. I'm not constantly concentrating, so I may as well shard it. Shards Aegis. I'm gonna do it on myself, but incentivize people to hit Dell. Oh yeah, Sam and Frodo playing BG3 was awesome. At the ready. All right, so now it's Sarah Box's turn. I mean, you're saying that. I'm gonna use my superiority die just to do extra damage. And then action search. I forgot, I've been playing honor mode, so I think I'm taking some of these fights uh, maybe more seriously than they needed to be. They roll for counter spell, if not, they just use level six spell slot. Yeah, that's a good point. Actually, I might prefer to... Do I have the frightening one? No, I have disarm, okay. Different build on this character. Oh, you're immune to prone. Immune to weapon drop. I mean, it's still fine because the bonus act damage is, you know, still nice, but actually I might want to use my... Oh, you don't have the cone attack. So then just multi-strike this one. 
Okay, cool. Which one's your range attack? This one here, eh? Yep. Oh. Fucking hitbox! You know what? You deserve it. Your hitbox is too big. God damn it. Well, the max HP doesn't matter anymore, does it? You do have a misty step, but I think I can probably close in with the charge. Although I don't really have a bonus action for anything queued up right now, so you know what? Unless I'm wrong, I don't think Shadowheart really needs her bonus actions. I don't think we're gonna need to use our smite spell slots. Um, both of these have already gone, and everyone else in my party is gonna go before they go again, so yeah. Apparently I do have Radiant Orb shit going on, uh, on her. But I don't think I would have wanted to replace her weapon anyway. Right? Saloon's Blessing, the Saloon Spear of Night. It's just way too thematic. Let's have some coverage. Don't target the water. All right, we're just going to target someone this way. I guess if I went in O mode, maybe I'd be able to target fairly well that way too. Yeah, okay, that works fairly decently. Womp womp. Yeah, the riders from uh, Hunter's Mark is not as important, I think, as just being stealthy right now and getting our sneak attacks. Oh, right, I can action surge. You know what? I mean, unless I want to save these for another fight, but no. Hide. Did the action surge break my stealth? Why? Why? In what universe does that make sense? Oi, did the yell action surge like an anime? There you go, guiding bolt. Advantage. Well, so much for peace. I'm heating up. Guys, this game is easy. Can't slow down. Hey, Sarabak, you got any loot? Sword of Chaos. That's his weapon from Baldur's Gate. It's different here. Uh, chaos on a hit regain one to six hit points. That's kind of nice. So is this? Oh, it's a great sword. It's a plus two great sword with no special attack. Built in necrotic. Hmm. Sarabox Horned Helmet. Deathbringer Sight. You gain dark vision up to a range of three meters or 15 if you already have it. The number you need to roll a critical hit is reduced by one, which can stack in BG3. Can't be frightened. Conse is plus one. I don't know if anyone's gonna wear that. Eminent Ball. First blood on a hit inflict bleeding upon targets that have maximum hit points. We're gonna take a look at that for Asterion. Map to the temple. Apparently the amulet may also be linked to the quest here. This sketch map sketch map shows a dotted line to follow to get the ball of temple. Below the sketch some instructions. Use a round street hatch to enter the city sewers. Proceed northwest to find your way into the undercity ruins. Blood the skull to pass the door. Follow the trail of murder to the ball temple door. Praise ball. And a key, an abattoir key. Okay. And those bodies disappeared. Hang on. Sit for swag. Um, okay, I wonder if that's the key for that. There's also a door over here. Oh, yeah, I mean, we've got the quest marker. Speak with dead. We'd have to disguise ourselves, right? Because they don't talk to their killers. Mason's journal? Never in all the years of my craft have I felt I was carving my own tomb. I'm sure that's exactly what happened. This armored husk I once thought was a man. He has trapped me here during the renovations. While he says I'm free to leave after the work is done, ill modern. These this god's awful smell. I'm no fool. There was also um like a tunnel over here. Don't want to draw any attention. I wonder if I should short rest. I'm assuming that this is ultimately dead ends, and we're gonna go back to that keyhole. But these boots have seen everything. Sarabox office, maybe? Let's have a look. Healing potion. Here in our logged the blood requisitions, the corpse wealth of our sacrifices taken from their dead hands. After chronicling and the assassin's claim of their own tithe, the remainder should be brought before the temple's leader. No longer the butler, as in past times. Dark urge stuff? What follows the detailed financial log of loot from dead targets, always accompanied by indulgent purple prose describing the cause of death. Page from Serevok's book. 
A memoir by Sarabok, really? The blood of Baal must never be wasted, only multiplied. I knew it from the moment of her birth and every day thereafter. I watched the babe become a woman, Helena, my shape-shifting beauty, my daughter, and Baal's waning womb. In her I planted my lord's seed, and thus did we beget the blood lamb Orin. Talking about his daughter there, right? And then, the child of my child, and Baal's sacrifice in waiting. I did not know that it would be Orin that Baal favored, not Helena, but it matters not. Orin would help to bring forth a new birth in Baal's name, a world baptized in blood. Any little uh, Game of Thrones in here? Do, 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 do. Anyone in these cages? Fist Orville. What comes now? With pleasure. Got no head. Dear. I mean, they spelled my name wrong, but Dear Quill. Dear Quill, do you remember me? We spent a sweet evening chatting to one another after you gave a heart-stopping performance at the Nashkel Inn when I was on patrol tour. I heard you were headed to Baldur's Gate to get your songbook published, and I've pre-ordered my copy. Never pre-order. Uh, well, different from printed stuff, I suppose. If you'd forgive a humble fist boldness, I send you in writing that I wasn't bold enough to say on that night. Each one of your scales is a gem. Your eyes shine brighter than your throat fire. Images of you have beset me since we met. You must have many suitors as a scholar of love ballads, but perhaps when you get to the gate, you'd meet me one starry night in the Blushing Mermaid. The letter is clearly unfinished, the fist intending to write more before sending it. Guess we can't uh, speak with dead since they're missing a head. There's a backpack in here. Misconnection. Nothing in there. Okay. Oh! Guys, there's a keychain over here. Prison key. Alright. Well, I mean, now I'm like, hold on. I should poke in and just see if there's like a perception check or something. No. How about this? Try to cancel this delf. It's a little faster. No, okay. Alright. Now, let me come back over here and just check this little path if it's even walkable. Oh no, it's it's not. Okay, never mind then. So let's go to the keyhole. Never a dull moment. Uh, oops. Have to change characters going. so it reset their movement. Better than nothing. Right on the other side with vision here. Oh my god, Valeria! I didn't even realize she disappeared. Or they disappeared. I th I'm assuming she based on the name. Um, so this was the, what are they called? Like Hierophants, Oliphants, something of fan. Oh yeah, I still can't tee you, but I can examine this way, right? Oh no, the examine doesn't work at all. Oh, that will actually be a problem if we get into a real fight. Um, I didn't realize you'd gone missing, but you were failing to investigate these murders. Holophant? Oi, citizen! Get me out of here! I mean, unless the other one was always a doppelganger? I don't think doppelgangers can be assume non-humanoid forms, though. But I might be wrong. Citizen, thank the gods you're here. My wrinkles are starting to chafe. As an officer of the law, I demand you free me at once. Get oh. here and free me at once! Okay. Bet I can crack that open. Hang on a sec. I'll free you in a second. Get We're looking for the key is all. Up, not me. Get me out. You sound like Wheatley from Portal 2. With pleasure. Have you no ears? Or are you just thick? Free me! Release me, you ingrate! Yeah, yeah. Memoirs of my death. Memoir describing the detail the visions of Baal sent by, seen by Saravak Ankava after his death in the Baal Temple centuries ago. The brethren often ask me, what was it like to die? They expect me to present a war and conflict, the humiliation of defeat against the honor of sacrifice. But once dead, it's impossible to think of oneself, one life, for you are in Baal's own embrace. Baal's domain is a red, vast, red wasteland in a starless sky, halted in time before the collapse of the final sun. There I wandered, tasting the end of all things. I was dragged back from the precipice, bound to a living husky and by my mocking sibling. I resented it at first. I'd forgotten how to breathe, to eat, all the animal functions of the petty who claimed life. Free me! 
But when I was cruelly resurrected, my faith was bolstered more through my death than it could be through life. I would bring about Ball's perfect finale, the melting of the crimson sun above the lakes of blood. It will happen. This world will be carved in his image. All right. Okay, fine. We'll go and pick the lock. Gosh. Get here and free me at once. You are insufferable. Then I'd rather not suffer you, but I guess we're suffering nonetheless. Thanks for freeing me so quickly. Tone now I don't know what those ballist Burks had planned with me, but those chains were starting to chafe. Though I do wish you'd figured this all out before I uh, put the blame for Father Logan's murder on that poor refugee. Well, at least it's over now. I didn't do it for you. I dedicated access to Oren. I mean, but you no, know, serious. How did you end up here? After our chat at Charette's caress, so it was you. Okay. I thought it best to polish off the bottle I'd started. I started coming over all woozy. My joints stiffened up quicker than a brothel browser's loins. Paralyzed. My vision went black. When I woke up, I was in chains. Overall, a terrible ordeal. One deserving of a drink. I'd Who's the voice today, actor for Valeria? It's been royally shite all round. Um, Valeria voice actor. No, not for Modern Warfare's BG3. Who voices Valeria? Roly Botha. Ah. Do I know them from anything? Apparently non-binary, which makes sense for the character. Uh, I do not know them from anything, but they sound like someone I've heard before. All right. Um, you sure we're finished? You might not be finished. I am. It's plain to see that I'm well out character of my Character in Witcher 3? But you... Well, that's not on their IMDb. It's a proper seeing to. You clearly have what I don't. Courage. Yeah, insight, Witcher 3 is not on their IMDb. Heroism. The city needs. I've never played Witcher 3. I overheard these pigs talking. There's a Baal temple in no. the old undercity that the cult is using. A century ago, it was destroyed by a group of heroic swords. Let's hope history repeats itself, eh? Could be IMDb is wrong. Foul as piss. I'm out of here. On my way. Feel like they did the um the sort of voice like the random voice lines here in a different session from the conversation voice lines because there's like a big tone shift. Much softer, much more relaxed and calm when we're speaking directly. Mastodonian memoirs, volume one, investigator Valeria. This slightly crumpled personal missive, parchment humming with Mount Celestia's radiance, boasts sporadically, rec I hope not sporadically, shout out to any fans of Clueless out there, uh, recorded entries in a Holofon's life. Bloody planetaire, as I tell them every time they deploy her. If you send someone to observe the blood war, there's a danger they could be recruited. Every time they say it's a minor heresy. Why? Zeriel wouldn't be the first to fall. Lathander's light doesn't reach that far down into the plains. They say crime doesn't pay around here. They say that in a world of purest good, who'd have motive to do evil. They also say the path to hells is paved with good intentions. So which is it? Of course, they don't really know. Hypocrites, the lot of them. It's just one bloody adage after another up here. But if you ask any of them what it, uh, if you ask what any of them mean, why, who, what, no one's interested. Oh my God, this keeps going on. Lulu's no help either. She's a model holophant, a perfect example, my superiors are quick to remind me. And she's fallen for Zariel's act, hook and all. No, it's not an act. Zariel believes what she's saying. She's just wrong, foolish, and lose a fool to believe it too. It's official. I depart for Baldur's Gate at the earliest opportunity, spreading conspiracy, disorderly drinking. First, I didn't know there was a prohibition in place. Second, if you don't want me drunk, don't send me to the Feywild. Gnomes have the best mead. And all the other allegations weighing against my person have tipped my reputation. Over the edge of a cloud, down to Toril. Of course, it's not phrased like that. Your sense of justice is needed by the mortals. Baldur's Gate has a lively tavern scene. Piss off. I know what they're really thinking. Pain's the trunk, the lot of them. Not to say I told you so, but my connections tell me Zariel's broken code to intervene in the blood war. If only someone had warned them. 
Apparently, she killed a horde of Yenogu's ghoul Noels running rampant down here in Toro. Her heart's in the right place. It's a shame her sword isn't. She's too reckless to be let near the blood war, and I reckon this is just the beginning. But alas, I picked up a rather handy new phrase since setting up in Baldur's Gate. That's none of my business. Was oh, that it? That's this key was just to go and free Valeria. All right. Okay. Fine. fine. Who's staring away, groaning so much? Uh, wait, hold on. We still have a quest marker here. I wonder if we need to bleed ourselves on this. How does we walk in here? Yeah, a hidden undercity location. The amulet will help us get in. Quest marker's whole area. Yeah, I, I suppose it is. It was centered there, which I thought was that, but... There's another potential blood spot there, because I know blood is a way to access something, but... And I know you can get to it from the sewers. But I'm just... I think the quest marker's... One. That's what I'm wondering about. Like, it was pointing there. And we got some hint stuff. There's a bug. I had the same thing recently with the quest. And I know you can find the temple through the sewers. Okay. We're just going to go with its bug then. If anyone knows otherwise for this quest marker and something else to do in this area, feel free to let me know. This will be a... I'm, I'm asking for the, the thing, so that's going to be okay. Oh, these guys just keeled over and died. Very dramatically. Did we go this way? Oh, that was just the other high ground. Yeah, okay. We loot you. Ooh. Loot, loot, loot. Hello. Blackguard's gauntlets. Plus one to attack? And inflict wounds. You know what? I'll grab the plate. It's worth a decent amount of cash. Blackguard's plate. All incoming damage reduced by one. Advantage and wisdom saving throws. Shield of the Undevout. Dreadful Hewer. Your foes have disadvantage on saving throws to resist your spells or actions that inflict fear. Gain one level one spell slot. Shield Bash. When you hit a foe with a melee attack, you can use your reaction to knock it prone. Huh. Hit the murder tribunal. Blackguard Sword. Dazing Smite. On a hit infused with one of your smites. Target must succeed a constitution saving throw become dazed. I don't see myself using that um, to replace um, Saloon's spear, but it is kind of cool. And this continues to be incredibly heavy, but... Blackguard's Greaves! You gain Long Strider. Well, we cast Long Strider on our people every day anyway, so that's pointless. I'm ready. Whatever it takes. Oh, we're going to reduced by two. We could toggle on the rigidity. What, what else was it with this armor? Not as bad as it Advantage on wisdom say hmm. My faith will guide me. But I'm not using the Howl of the Dead, and I'm not using the Reaper's rigidity. Maybe I do switch the plate just for the advantage on saving throws. I mean that's worth a lot more than one extra point of damage reduction. What does it look like? Oops, that's the wrong button. Eh, we'd want to die it, but I'm gonna leave her in this outfit. Yeah, more important ones. I mean it looks kind of cray carry. Maybe with some dye it would look okay. One of the things, like, even the Reaper's Embrace, actually, the Reaper's Embrace, is that's the reason I have her in our camp clothes. I don't want her looking like this exposed rib cage. Um, I think this would look okay with a dye job. But I might just keep her in her camp clothes for now. So I think that's an upgrade. The saving throw shit's pretty crazy. Still alive, so that's progress. This shield. Well, we're not really inflicting fear. The spell slot is kind of nice for, like, an extra smite. But the adamantine shield, like, the reeling is is handy. Uh, immunity to crits is handy. I don't think we've got that from anything else on her. Still All right. I think I'm pleased with this. Everything. Wonder okay. If the gods are watching. Uh, that looks like it's a, it's a path into the sewers. Quest marker here is there. Oh yeah, there we go. Wooden stairs out. That's not where I want to go right now. Oh, is it? I was definitely back out. Is this it then? Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, it's time to go and try to rescue Oren's victim. I.e. Lazel for us. I'm assuming if you don't have Lazel, pick someone else. I'm wondering, like, is it semi-randomized? I'm assuming it picks someone who's not in your party. 
And then I'm wondering if it has a priority order. So sparky. So we're here. this quest marker is leading if that's under city but um makes some sense okay so we're going I'm sorry how do I get out of here what I'm saying there's a fast travel point I can just use can I not get out of this little area oh there we go this wall here can be smashed have I never come this way in this run is that blood? oh no, all right no. I think we have. I think we never got through the wall because I think we went through. Ready. I think we've gone through all of this and everything like that. Yeah. Oh, but we may have not gone here. Oh. Hang on. Let's poke. What happens if you play an evil character that's killed most people, no companions? That's an interesting question. And if someone said something about a, a fallback character, um, because in in my current Dark Hurt run, I uh, I don't have a whole lot of characters. This goes into the Thieves Guild. Okay. Now, sometimes these quest markers can be a little misleading in these places because it's like gets confused by zone transitions, but. There is work to do. You know, it says no entry, no exit. Good thing we can't read. Easy. Looking ahead. I need to find a way forward. Oh, Karlak is inspired. Hey, Severn. Before you ask. Oh, yeah! Severn! With the face! Now. What can I get you, newcomer? <laughs> we got here in my multiplayer game. Any gossip? Around here, silence is golden, mate. Best remember that. <laughs> He's so now, cursed. What can I get you? Beverages of distinction, or in some cases, extinction, if you ain't careful. How you feeling today, Lucky? Why the wide face? And then sometimes is is the face does that even on this screen it like goes off into infinity in some direction. What's the point in paying the guild for protection when they've pulled back all their crews? There's a bloody army coming. What's up for discussion? Bare hands. Bare hands? Charm, of course. I mean, yeah, sometimes. Sometimes I'll bare hands. No distractions, mate. Nine Fingers has me watching over Pierre Priss here. Wants our friends and parliament close with this new duke making moves. Ah, you did not see me. A peer of the parliament openly walking the guild hall would sell a few copies of Boulder's Mouth, I expect. Well, well. The fabled haunt of Nine Fingers Keep. I never visited before. I thought you'd got around. I always steered clear. If guild members started disappearing, people would start asking questions. And Casador hated questions. Hey, Sticky Dondo. Victor isn't himself, so I'm running the shop. You buying or selling? Where do you get these items? Let's just say the previous owners no longer have a use for them. Got me? Yep, no, that's fine. But show me what you got. Isn't himself, so I'm running the shop. You buying or selling? Shade Slayer Cloak. Stealthy critical. While hiding, the number you need to create a critical while attacking is reduced by one. This effect can stack. Keep um, do you have a cloak? Element absorption. Oh, I could go for a good meal. Okay, I think Carlac's cloak isn't very important. It's just a tiny bit of splash damage, like, like, retribution damage. Keep your distance. So I propose we give her the cloak of elemental absorption, because that actually does seem fairly. That's only once per damn. I want to give this to Asterian. This seems useful, because he is hiding a lot. In, I mean, he mostly auto crits, rather than like rocking crits, because we haven't been stacking that. But it feels like it'd be a waste to not take it. Nothing else we got, you know, we got to try it on. We got to get Asterian some swag. 
Sometimes. Oh, wait, I, I do have to sell. I've got a bunch of, like, heavy-ass armor to get rid of here. Himself, so um, which I think Karlak is holding on to. You buying or selling? I think I'm going to sell the Cerebral Citadel gloves. I don't think we're really using... We're not generating fear. It's very powerful. Charm and fear. They're very strong. I'm not denying it. But we're not really making use of this. Let's get on with it. Right now, I'm not feeling like I need the money, so I'm not too stressed about selling off everything that we're getting. Why can't I drag you over? I know that normally works, because that's how I deal with stacks. If you double-click on a stack, you get this pop-up. But if you drag a stack of stuff over to the vendor, the whole thing goes. I'm wondering if it's the same thing that's stopping the uh, my inspection from, from functioning. I didn't sell something wrong, right? Because this view scrolled when we sold. Hopefully, everything's okay. Valeria's snuff. Trunk bomb. Valeria's hookah. Yeah, we're just gonna sell those. That, that's the, the cost for us rescuing you. Sometimes. Okay. Now, I'm sure there's some people to talk to in here. And yeah, maybe I'm just getting confused with what I did in the multiplayer. Um, because I know that the Thieves Guild is fairly close to the entrance to the um, the murder cult place. Maybe I never did that in, in here. That's possible. We did. We we've been to Act Three in the multiplayer game that I'm playing. We haven't. We actually haven't gotten as far in that as I have in this. But we've done a couple of things slightly differently. Um, so that'll have to wait until next time. Which next time? Okay. So as reminders, Wednesday we're gonna do some more Galactic Civilizations Four because I'm quite eager to uh, to explore that more. Thursday, I'm unless it turns out that I'm wrong and Essential tells me we already have plans for something on Thursday. Thursday, I'm going to stream some more Baldur's Gate Three. Uh, and I'm thinking I'm going to start at noon and we'll try to go for four ish hours. And I, I'm probably will do Monday and Thursdays. We'll start doing four hour um, Baldur's Gate streams again to try to power through if we can. But Wednesday will be Galsiv. And then Saturday is question mark. Yeah, I think Saturday is a question mark. So we'll see. Folks, thanks a lot for watching. For now, we're going to go and raid Kiss for Luck's channel. And I'll see you on Wednesday for uh, Galactic Civilization. And yeah, Thursday for Baldur's Gate. See you there.